Hello everybody, this is Austin Carr with Greenlink Energy Solutions. Uh, today we're going to be working on a crawl space encapsulation and a rim joist ceiling. Uh, this customer here was experiencing very, very cold floors, draftiness throughout the house. In fact, they even had rooms upstairs above the crawl space that they were unable to get to a comfortable temperature. And so with little ones running around the house and playing in the basement and the playroom above the crawl space, uh, we want to try to tighten this building up here and make it a more comfortable place for them. Here we can see the crawl space that we're gonna be working on. And uh, we've got a decent vapor barrier down there now, a little bit of R board on the walls. Uh, we're gonna be cleaning this up a bit, getting a better thermal barrier on the walls here with our closed cell spray foam and a better vapor barrier on the floor. Uh, with our infrared camera here, we can see some of the temperatures in this crawl space. We've got some 43 degree spots here. We can see on the bottom right side of my screen. And as we look here, we can see the supply ducts uh, for the furnace and air conditioner the this time of the year it's the heat that we're worried about and so these trunks are trying to move heat all the way across the basement here uh, from the furnace on the far side and get it all the way back into this crawl space and up to the floor above us and uh, when we're going through a 40 something degree crawl space these trunks just drop temperature significantly and uh, really impacts the temperature and the comfort upstairs. So once we encapsulate this crawl space, we'll have a more consistent temperature. This crawl space will be closer to 70 degrees, in fact, and uh, become part of the conditioned space of the house. Another area that we look at here is this cantilevered area, the section of the basement or the floor that hangs past the foundation. As we look at this insulation, we can see that we've got kind of damaged insulation here. We see the mouse tunnels, the chewed clawed insulation. This is no longer uh, performing in a way that's gonna help keep this house comfortable. In fact, as we look with our infrared camera here, uh, we'll see some temperatures 33 degrees uh, going through these cavities. And so there's a good chance as we clean this out, remove all the insulation and sanitize this area, we're probably gonna find some daylight, maybe some openings to the outside that would allow mice, maybe squirrels or chipmunks in here. Uh, so we're gonna get this all sealed up and uh, we'll expect these cavities to be much closer to the 70 degree mark that we keep the house heated at. So this is a view of the floor from above where we were talking about that cantilever in the basement. We can see the supply duct right there. Uh, this floor here is just very cold as we move over. There's some dark purple spots and we can really see a pretty distinct line of where this hangs past the foundation and allowing that cold air to kind of work through that floor system there. And so when we lay down some tin metal, seal up the bottom of that, spray foam it with our closed cell spray foam, we'll seal it all up, insulate it, even add a little bit of structural strength to it. And it's gonna allow for a more comfortable space below and above uh, that particular area. Another component of our crawl space and rim joist encapsulation on this project uh, is our blower door testing that we do. And we work really hard to make sure that we're uh, not just selling a product but really delivering some results here and one of the ways that we do that is by running a blower door test as you can see over here one of our guys is getting the blower door test set up and what this does is actually measures the air infiltration in the house before we start the project and then we run this test again on completion of the project and this is how we can kind of quantify the results and say hey we started off with this much of an opening in the house and we've reduced that by x amount typically we'll get results of 20 to 30 percent of air reduction throughout a home and so we're going to run this test and see what we come up with so we are running our blower door test upstairs right now and i've got the infrared camera back on these cantilevered areas we can see this temperature drop here because we're depressurizing the house trying to get a reading of, of a baseline for starting this project and it's also going to kind of magnify any air leaks through the house and we can see uh, our temperatures drop down to 25 degrees in these areas so we're definitely going to find openings leading to the outside and uh, we'll run this test again on completion of the project and we'll find out exactly uh, how much good we've done here. Uh, we're doing a little post job inspection here, checking everything out. So we can see we've got our crawl space walls nicely coated with two inches of closed cell spray foam. We've hit these rim joists and fan joists up in these cavities here. We've also came all the way down the walls, sealed to our vapor barrier on the floor. So now we've got a double vapor barrier here, just kind of playing it safe. Uh, we can take a look at our infrared camera and kind of check out these wall temperatures now. And we can see we've got a much more consistent looking uh, temperature throughout this crawl space. Our low temperatures here are 
looking in the 55 degree area. And once we kick the furnace back on, get the house warmed back up, we'll pick right up and this will jump up into the mid 60s. Uh, the guys have just finished up spray foaming. We've just finished our cleanup and uh, we're gonna take a look around the rim joists a little bit. Now we're seeing the rim joists are actually uh, among the warmer spots on our screen. Looking at our cantilevers, uh, these sections here have been greatly improved. And actually what we do on these cantilevers is we spray foam the bottom and the back side of the framing, and then we install some new fiberglass batting back in there once we've encapsulated and sealed off that area. And so we've had really great uh, results here as expected, and uh, we verify those results with our blower door test and with our infrared inspections. We are running our final blower door test on this project here. And as we look here, our CFM reduction, uh, we've dropped from 4,200 down to right around 2,700 CFM. And so that's a really great reading. We're really pleased with that. Uh, it's been a good project and great results for the customer.